who are the top five employers, or I guess one of the top five major employment industries here in St. John's County. And because St. John's County really, we have manufacturing and we have some big employers here in St. John's County, but because St. John's County probably isn't the main place where we have the main em employers around, uh, I'm going to pull Jacksonville in as well. And we'll talk about Jacksonville, St. John's County, sort of this whole area. There are a lot of people that choose to move here for whatever reasons, the great schools, the abundant nature trails and outdoor activities. St. John's County is an incredible place, tons of neighborhoods with resorts, with resort lifestyles and amenities and all that good stuff. If you're watching these videos, you probably know about all that stuff, but uh, there are a lot of people that move here and they commute up to Jacksonville or other places to work. And as you'll see, there are some places in St. John's County. There are some places very, very close to St. John's County. And there are some places where eh, you may not want that type of commute, but we'll hit the, the big five major industries. And then we're also going to talk at the end of the video, we're going to go through what are some of the, like the top 10 companies were, or the top best, the top 10 best companies where uh, employees love working. We'll talk through that as well. So let's just hop right in and we'll start with healthcare. And healthcare is massive in this area. We have the Baptist organization, the Baptist group of hospitals, and they are all over the place. Baptist South would be the closest one to Nocatee, where they have maternity ward and uh, a lot of the full service type things you'd expect in a hospital, Baptist South just north of St. John's County, right off I-95. And so that's going to be, for a lot of people, their mainstay hospital. The other big mainstay that we see, and it's a lot, it's a big hospital that a lot of people are moving to St. John's County just to be close to, and that is the Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic is up on the northeast side of Jacksonville before you cross over to the beaches. Although some people up in that San Pablo area call themselves beaches, even though they're on the uh, west side of the Intracoastal Waterway. But Mayo Clinic is, of course, incredible, incredible doctors, incredible technology, incredible care. And it's actually pretty accessible 25, 30 minutes from Nocatee and some of these areas over here in the northeast part of St. John's County. So Mayo Clinic is uh, a big employer here. I'll actually just rip down through some of these other ones as well. You've got Ascension St. Vincent's and the most notable for St. John's County people, the most notable development recently is that Ascension St. Vin St. Vincent's opened up a small hospital right at 95 and County Road 210, just outside of Beachwalk. So from Shearwater, Nocatee, Beacon Lake, Beachwalk, all those neighborhoods in between. You've got an ER that's super, super close and a hospital that's right there. So love having that right there. And then University of Florida Medical, big hospital downtown, Memorial, and a couple specialty hospitals as well. We have Nemours and Wolfson's Children's Hospital. So hopefully you never need those, but if you do need those, those are here right near St. John County. And you'll even see some little not pop-ups, I guess. What do you call those uh, uh, smaller urgent care type centers? Uh, Wolfson's has one up, one up by UNF, and you just find those scattered around throughout the city as well. Outside of surgeries and doctors, we have rehab care. And the biggest, baddest in town is probably Brooks Rehab. Brooks Rehab, they have their own independent facilities. They're connected to a lot of the YMCAs in town. And I remember I had a rib injury and it was a Brooks therapist that gave me some exercise to do where over time I was able to pop my rib back in. So I have a special place in my heart for uh, Brooks rehab as well. In sort of what I call medical adjacent industries where maybe it's not the primary care, but uh, medical insurance would be one that is in that medical umbrella and insurance. We have Florida Blue right here and it is a big employer 
And actually, when you start looking at the top companies to work for, it does start to appear in there as well. So it seems like a pretty good place to work. So moving out of medical, let's hop over to the number two big sort of umbrella industry that we have in this area, and that is logistics. And five, six years ago, I might not have said logistics as, you know, number two, but we had a big 800 pound, 100,000 pound gorilla that moved in here. And that is Amazon. Amazon has a couple warehouses. I think they even have some expansion plans in this area. And so there are opportunities for employment within Amazon, within warehouses. Of course, I think every city has delivery drivers and little hubs as well. Maybe not the best employment opportunity when you're thinking about living in St. John's County because they tend to be up by towards the airport, right? On the north side and on the northwest side where they have access to airport and uh, some of the east-west corridors. So um, maybe not moving to St. John's County thinking I'm gonna go work for Amazon, but hey, you never know. And of course, we can't think about Jacksonville without thinking about shipping and we have Jack's Port. And really cool, actually, as you're going up over the Dames Point Bridge, which is on I-295 that goes around the city on the northeast side, you go up over this big, big bridge, you look down and you see Jacksport, and you see these massive cargo ships coming and going that are stacked with those big steel containers. And those things are big and they're heavy and they're stacked so high above the water. And I have no idea sometimes how with all the waves and things, those things aren't just constantly toppling off into the water or ships just turning over. It's physics. I know, I know there's gotta be reasons that it works, but it just blows my mind sometimes as I'm going up over there, looking at all those cool ships and the cranes unloading and loading them. Carnival Cruise Line has cruises that leave out of Jacksonville. So you don't have to go all the way. Well, I shouldn't say all the way to Cape Canaveral, not that far. But uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, a couple hours away, you can get cruises there. Or you got to go down to Fort Lauderdale, Miami, about a five-hour trip over to Tampa. It's a three-and-a-half-hour trip. So nice if you're here in St. John County or Jacksonville to be able to pop up north, hit Jacksport, and hop on a Carnival cruise. I think they have three-day and five-day cruises maybe just down to the Bahamas. They're not going super far from here. But hey, it's an option, right? You want to get away for a quick quick jaunty out to sea, then, then there's an option for you right there. Outside of the sea, of course, stuff has to come off the boats and it has to be trucked places. So we have a lot of trucking companies here, a lot of uh, that type of logistics going on as well. Publix Grocery Stores has trucking and warehousing here, not headquartered here, but they have got a big uh, transportation facility depot here. And then... One of the one of the companies I think we might see, spoiler alert, on the top 10 places to live, uh, Southeastern Grocers is a big company here as well. They actually own Winn-Dixie grocery stores as well. And so maybe that's not strict logistics because they you know, sort of corporately have management here as well as an employer, but uh, I stuck it under logistics as well anyways, so sue me. Don't sue me. And of course... We're talking about Jacksonville logistics. We've got to talk woo, woo, talk about trains and that would be CSX. CSX is a massive transportation company headquartered here in Jacksonville as well. And actually it starts to pop up on the top places to work as well sometimes in some of the lists. Number three sort of big overarching industry is manufacturing. And gosh, you wouldn't think that we have a lot of manufacturing here. It wasn't the first thing that was coming to mind, but then started looking a little bit deeper. It's like, yeah, we do have quite a bit. The biggest standout to me is the aerospace and military equipment industry. And so we have, what's it called? I got to check my notes here for a second. Um, the Fleet Readiness Center of the Southeast. And that's basically a place where these big military ships come in and these things are massive and they are stocked to be out at sea for months and months and months and months and months and months at a time, uh, like cities at sea, right? And they desupply them and they resupply them and they do all the maintenance so that these things are ready to go back out for the long haul and uh, be able to support the uh, Department of Defense's missions out 
wherever they need to be in the world. These things are incredible and the readiness happens right here in the Jacksonville area. The second big manufacturing facility that comes to mind is Johnson & Johnson. And so it's not the no more tears or no more tears or whatever it's supposed to be. Baby shampoo, that's what I remember growing up. It's contact lenses. And so Johnson & Johnson here produces almost 2 billion with a B, not million, 2 million contact lenses a year right here in their Jacksonville facility. And number five for employment opportunities, military. Military is huge right here. And the two big standouts would be one Mayport up on the northeast side, a big, 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 massive naval station can actually hold 34 ships at a time. And they have an 8,000 foot runway. That means that any, any air vehicle, air vehicle, any plane that the Department of Defense has on their roster can take off and land at Mayport. So that's pretty cool. And then NAS Jacks, the Naval Air Station Jacksonville is down on the west side of, this, of the, the St. Lawrence. Going back to Canada for a second, the St. John's River. And it's, it's massive. It started out as a place to train pilots. And over time, it has just grown and evolved to where now it has restaurants and churches and gyms. It even has a golf course in it. So it's like a little city unto itself. So NAS Jacks, Mayport being the big, big ones. And so for me, that's the top five industries. So let's get ready and dive a little bit deeper and see where the top 10 companies to work are when it comes to employee satisfaction here in Jacksonville. The best companies to work for in the St. John's County area. And I picked this Zipia list. There's lots of lists out there. You can Google it. I'll put this link in the comment if in the comments if you want. But uh, here are, there's actually more on here. You can look at them yourself, but let's just run through the top 10 companies here. And you can kind of get a feel for the industry as well. And so number one here is Ability. And this company is basically IT for healthcare companies. And I don't know all the down and dirty and nitty gritty of what exactly they do, but uh, it looks like that they're, um, they optimize IT for healthcare companies. So number two, we mentioned this earlier, and I think it's kind of cheating to put both of these on here as the number two and three spot because Southeastern Grocers works uh, or owns, runs Winn-Dixie. So you could kind of combine these probably, but let's just let them have their thing. And so Southeastern Grocers looks like a great place to work in, we called it logistics, but I guess also in just corporate and grocery management, whatever in the food industry, I don't know what, what how you classify a grocery, but uh, specialized industry, you got uh, some Publix, again, not headquarters, but logistics for Publix here. And then Southeastern Grocers as a great uh, employer in this area. FIS is another company that does IT type stuff in financial services. CSX, we mentioned, look at this, number five, it's definitely logistics. It's uh, railroad and all that good stuff that goes on with that. Look at this, 21,000 miles of track in 23 states. That's incredible. Rainier Advanced Materials, these guys are making stuff out of trees. I don't think it's just paper products. I think they make touch screens and some other things as well. But there, we got more manufacturing right here. Florida Blue pops up. And so health insurance, Florida Blue is the big bad provider here in Florida. Modus is a recruiting, I think. This is consulting and professional staffing. So I guess basically a recru re recruiting company. Crowley is logistics. And then Fanatics, this is pretty cool. And so Fanatics is a pretty big company, but the office here, I think is maybe 30, 30, 40, 50 employees, something like that. But it looks like a blast to work at. It looks like they have uh, baking competitions and uh, happy hours and all kinds of cool things going on over there. So you can take a look at this list. There's lots of lists like this. If you're in a particular industry or you're looking to work for like top companies, all this information, all that information is available here. And then if you're like, shoot, if I work at this company, where can I live? What's my commute look like? That's where I come in. That's where I'm the expert. I love helping people find the right place to live that works with their lifestyle and where they need to go, where they need to be. 
I've moved from Canada to the U.S. and I've moved to Africa and back to Canada or back to the U.S. from Africa as well. So I know what it's like to move state to state and country to country as well. So I am here to help you make it as smooth and give you as much confidence as possible in that transition. I'm signing off. Stay classy, St. John's County. We'll see you on the next one. How do I stop this? Oh, there it is.